So, in this lecture, we are going to study LMTD method for multipass and cross flow heat exchanger. In our previous lecture, we have studied LMTD method for the parallel flow configuration as well as for the counter flow configuration. We have derived this equation for the parallel and counter flow heat exchanger for the LMTD logarithmic mean temperature difference, which is TH2 minus TC1, which is the temperature difference for the uh, for the counter flow heat exchanger. This is the TH2 minus TC1 temperature difference of outlet temperature of hot fluid and inlet temperature of TC1 so that in counter flow heat exchanger at the exit side TH1 minus TC2 so that the temperature difference at the left hand side so that the, this is delta T1 this is delta T2 so delta T2 minus delta T1 divided by ln delta T2 upon delta T1 so this is the equation which we have derived in our previous lecture but this equation of LMTD cannot be applied for the uh, multipass or cross flow heat exchanger because uh, there are some effect because of the multi tubes and several passes because in a cross flow heat exchanger you can see that one fluid for a particular time or for a particular space two fluids are flowing in the same direction for a particular region that two fluid hot fluid and cold fluid are going to flow in opposite direction so for this some some pass it will be a parallel flow configuration for another pass it will act as a counter flow heat exchanger so for in that case in case of multi tubes and several cell, uh, cell pass and cross flow we need to add one more factor which is known as the correction factor for this kind of arrangement and we can easily find out this correction factor by using some terms so our equation for the multi tubes and several shell and pass heat exchanger is going to be q is equal to u a f delta t here u is overall heat transfer coefficient a is the area f is the correction factor which is required for the multi pass or shell and tube heat exchangers and delta t is mean effective here delta t is a mean effective temperature difference of the whole shell and tube heat exchanger okay the value of correction factor f can be found out can be found by two non dimensional temperature ratios p and r now let's understand what is this p and r represent so p is the ratio of rising temperature of the cold fluid to the difference in the inlet temperature of the two fluid so in a mathematical form we can write p is equal to tc2 minus tc1 here you can see that this is tc2 minus tc1 which is rise in the temperature of the cold fluid divided by th1 minus tc1 this th1 minus tc1 is the inlet temperature th1 is the inlet temperature of hot fluid and tc1 is the inlet temperature for the cold fluid so this is the maximum temperature difference for any heat exchanger for any heat exchanger the maximum temperature of the uh, fluid is going to be th1 inlet temperature of the cold fluid is uh, the highest value among the four temperature value tc1 is the inlet temperature of the cold fluid which is the lowest value among the or the four temperatures so this is delta t max maximum temperature difference any heat exchanger can achieve this is tc2 minus tc1 obviously the temperature of the cold fluid is going to be rise in heat exchanger because it gains heat from the hot fluid so this tc2 minus tc1 shows the rise in the temperature of the cold fluid in the ratio of this rise in temperature of the cold fluid to the maximum temperature difference is our uh, we can denote this by capital p okay the r is the ratio of temperature drop of the hot fluid because the hot fluid is going to lose some heat to the cold fluid so it is the ratio of temperature drop of the hot fluid to the temperature rise of the cold fluid so that the th1 minus th2 which shows the temperature drop tc2 minus tc1 as we have just discussed it shows the temperature rise of the cold fluid so the ratio of this is denoted by r with the help of this p and r we can easily find out the correction factor f for any heat exchanger so correction factor f is a function of this p and r as well as the flow arrangement so we have different uh, kind of charts from which we can get the value of this f after getting the value of p and r 
so if we know the inlet temperature values as well as outlet temperature values so that th1 th2 tc1 tc2 so from that or temperature values we can easily calculate first value of p and r after getting the value of this p and r from the different charts available we can easily find out value of f according to the flow arrangement okay so for suppose for shell and tube heat exchanger with one shell pass here you can see uh, there is only a one shell pass and two or multiple tubes here you can see there are two tubes and this is one shell pass so for this we have this graph is available so after calculating value of p and r from these equations this uh, this axis shows the value of p here you can see these are the values for the r so by combination of value of p and r you can easily calculate value of this correction factor clear uh, for some another arrangement like uh, shell and tube heat exchanger with two shell pass here you can see that there, there is a one uh, dividing pipe or we can say the dividing wall in this uh, shell so uh, this is a two shell pass this is one and this is second so this is two shell pass and here four or it can be more than four tubes so uh, same method uh, applying same method getting value of p and r by using temperature values and uh, from the r value you can easily uh, get value of f after getting value of p and r okay so the next flow arrangement for the three uh, two shell pass this is three two shell pass means it cut, uh, in a particular every pass there are two tubes so generally this is a three shell pass and six or more even number of tubes so for this kind of arrangement we have this graph at last again we have three shell pass and six or more even number of tube passes similarly this is a separate uh, divided shell and tube pass heat exchanger kind of flow arrangement the next one is a split flow here you can see uh, there is a split or we can say that there is a divider between this flow arrangement uh, between this pass so this is this kind of flow arrangement is known as the split flow shell type heat exchanger uh, here there is only one split so one split flow shell and pass and two tubes here we can see there are two tubes so one split flow shell and pass and two tube passes so for this we have this kind of graph now to understand it better let's solve one example so we can understand how to apply uh, how to find out correction factor for the cross uh, shell and tube heat exchanger and how to find out the uh, area or what is required unknown by using that equations so let's solve uh, numerical a heat exchanger with two shell passes and four tube passes is used to heat water with hot exhaust gas so here our water is our cold flue and the hot exhaust gas is our hot fluid water enters the tubes at 50 degrees celsius and leaves at 125 degrees celsius so this is our tc1 and tc2 with a flow rate of 10 kg per second this is mass flow rate for the cold flow so this is the value of m of c while the hot exhaust gas enters the cell side at 300 degrees celsius and leaves at the 125 degrees celsius so clearly this is our th1 and this is our th2 th1 is 300 and th2 is 125 degrees celsius the total heat transfer surface is 800 meters square this is area which is given calculate the overall heat transfer coefficient so here u is unknown for us we have to calculate value of capital u we know the value of th1 th2 tc1 tc2 uh, as well as we also know the mass flow rate for the cold fluid we know the specific heat for the water so if we want to find out value of u we have this equation q is equal to u a delta t into f because this is a sh uh, two shell passes and four tubes so we have to add correction factor here now we have to find out value of u so by using this equation we can find out value of u if we have value of q area is uh, already given in question we have to find out value of f as well as delta t so if we know the value of all the four temperatures so we can easily calculate value of p and r so in equation of p and r putting all the values of temperature we can get the value of p as a 0.3 and r as a 2.3 
Now, as we know, all the four temperature, we can easily calculate the delta T logarithm is mean temperature difference, which is delta T1 minus delta T2 divided by ln delta T1 by delta T2. Generally, all shell and tube exchanger are considered as to be counter flow heat exchanger. So, considering is as a counter flow heat exchanger, uh, we have delta T1 175 minus 75. Delta T1 is going to be TH1 minus TC2 and delta T2 is going to be TH2 minus TC1. So, this is the value of delta T which is 118 degrees Celsius. Now, from the value of P and R, from the value of P and R, we can easily calculate value of F. This is, you can see, P is a 0.3. So, this is our 0.3 line approximate and this is R is 2.3. So, 2.3 is going to be uh, this, this line. Okay, uh, where is 2.3? So, this is line of 2. This is supposed to be line of 2.3. So, it is going to be intersect something here. So, we can get uh, something here. So, this is the value. Uh, value of f is going to be between 0 0.9 to 1. So, suppose it is going to be 0 0.96. Okay. This is 0 0.3 which is value of p. r is 2.3. So, suppose 2.3 line is going to be somewhere here. So, 0 0.3 and 2.3 is going to intersect at this point. So, this uh, joining this point with a straight line of correction factor, we will get value of f nearly equal to 0 0.96. So, this is how we can find out value of correction factor by using these graphs. Okay. So, f is 0 0.96. Now, we can use this equation. Yes, but in that equation, q is equal to u a uh, f delta t. In that equation, we still need to find out value of q. But as we know, the mass flow rate of the cold fluid, which is 10 kg per second specific heat of water, uh, we know. We know the value of TC2 and TC1. So, we can easily find out value of Q by putting this equation. So, on, uh, in the equation of Q is equal to UA delta T F, U is only unknown. So, putting all the other value, mass flow rate is 10. Specific heat 4203 TC2 minus TC1. So, that 125 minus 50. Area is 800 meter square already given. F is 0.96 from the graph and delta T is 118. So, here value of u is 34.8 watt per meter square Kelvin. So this is how by using graph we can easily find out the value of correction factor and by using uh, previous equation we can easily calculate overall heat transfer coefficient or unknown area whichever.